This video is how to repair your daytime running light on your 2005 Honda Civic. This Canadian vehicle requires daytime running light to be active as soon as you turn on your vehicle. There are no headlights at the moment, but there is a DRL indicator on the dash. That means either the bulbs are burnt out or there is actually something wrong with the circuit, which is what I'm going to cover in this video. To get at the circuit board under the dash, we have to remove two cover panels. The first one is relatively simple, directly underneath the steering wheel. Just turn the two knobs, pull off the plate, and remove. The second one is a little trickier. It's right underneath the large panel directly against the firewall here. Turn the single block and it will unhinge from the bracket and the other corner is it's just a straight drop down clip so you just have to pull it straight down it might be a little tight the first time you get it but it's just popping a clip and then you're just going to slide this right out and that gives us access to the circuit board Okay, the circuit board, the relays we're after are inside that gray box. And begin by removing the wiring harness. You just squeeze the tab on one side and remove it, push it to the side, out of your way. And my advice is just simply get yourself a small flat screwdriver. And what you're trying to do is just pop out these four clips two on one side and then two on the other and that should drop out the circuit board we're after. And that's the unit there. To repair the 2005 Honda Civic daytime running light circuit board you need a few items. One is a soldering iron, uh, some solder with some flux core in the middle, or just flux paste. In this case, we're just going to use the paste. On your circuit board, the relays are these larger blocks. And these are the circuits that most likely have failed, causing the red light on your dash to light up. It's these large globs of solder attached to the relays. Most of them will have cracked just from heat and vibration under your dash. We're just going to remelt the solder and fix the circuit. I'm just going to use the solder paste and for that I'm just going to dab a little bit of paste on each one of the contacts that we're going to heat up. You don't need a lot. I can see this one here that I'm attaching paste to has actually lifted. I can see the crack all the way around this one. Same with this. So this is probably the main reason the circuit has failed. All the smaller contacts that are shiny and silver here they generally don't need to be resoldered. Just look at them closely for anything that's showing cracks or discoloration and just heat them up again. But we're going to do all these main ones. Okay. With your soldering iron, Again, don't use a very high wattage one. 
all you're going to be doing is just remelting the solder so it's shiny and it sticks again to the contact and if you notice that there is a need for more solder go ahead and apply it in this case here's a perfect example where we need some and just continue around the circuit board reheating each contact you're just reflowing the same solder that's already on it These are the two that have really lifted, and that one needs some solder. And the same with that one. In most cases, this repair will probably last anywhere from 6 to 10 years, and it might be required again. Now just let that cool a little, and then wipe off the paste residue there, just so that it's a clean and dust-free environment, so nothing sticks to it when it's mounted back underneath the dash. Just clean it as best you can. So that's it. Just reinsert this back under your dash. And that should be all that's required. With your daytime running light circuit board repaired, all you need to do is reinstall it under your dash. In the holder you will see that there are slots uh, to, to actually hold and align the circuit board. So you cannot put it in upside down. So as long as you get that lined up, you shouldn't have too much trouble inserting it. And just make sure that the clips, all four clips, are locked in place. So that it doesn't fall out while you're driving. And then reattach your wires. Now to replace the plastic dash covers under the steering wheel. The tricky one is this black cover. You have to align with the white clip at the back of your firewall, the actual slot in the cover. With that done, make sure you have your latch knob turned horizontally so it will fit through. It will fit through the 
notch on the top. And the left side, there is this clip which goes straight up into a hole. To make sure you're aligning it correctly, just watch the one in the back to make sure you're sliding it in straight. And then make sure you pop through the lock cover. And when you've done that, just run your hand over to the side and push this up. And that will clip in the edge. And then lock your latch. And now we just have the under steering wheel or fuse panel, which fits relatively easily with just the two clips. And then just lock everything back in place. And you now have your fuse panel back where it should be. After repairing the 2005 Honda Civic daytime running light circuit board, which controls the high beams of your car at a lower voltage and lower intensity light level, take off your emergency brake and start your engine. You will note that the high beam indicator is now on and that your high beams have lit up a lot dimmer than usual. That is the daytime running light circuit. For certain countries such as Canada, it's required. And you will notice on the dash, the DRL light is now gone. That means you have done a successful repair. I hope yours turned out as simple as this one. And if you note, I have another red indicator, which is the passenger side airbag sensor, which is not the airbag, it is the seat belt. And we'll be covering that in another video. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and leave any comments. Again, this one covers from 2001 to 2005. And the model vehicle we are using is the Civic SI sedan.